to the White House there, President Biden rather front and center. He is facing mounting pressure to act, act alone on gun control, especially after that recent spree of mass shootings, including Atlanta and Boulder, Colorado. The president has faced that mounting pressure. He does intend, we've learned, to act and issue executive orders. Let's bring in Bofta Yimam now in D.C. Tell us, Bofta, what does he have planned? Well, Sharon, we were talking about it just during the break. A lot of folks looking at this wondering, does it have teeth that's needed? Of course, others looking at Congress hoping, will they take some type of action? But we know the president trying to make his own attempts here, calling it a public health epidemic. He's mostly leaning on the Justice Department to carry out six initial steps to combat gun violence, including, uh, we know, within the 30 days, issuing a proposed rule to help stop the proliferation, what they call of ghost guns, saying they're experiencing a growing problem, criminals buying kits containing nearly all of the components and directions for finishing a firearm within as little as 30 minutes, basically handmade guns, homemade guns. No details, though, on how they will stop this. The Justice Department will also issue a proposed rule to make it clear when a device marketed as a stabilizing brace helps turn a pistol into a short barreled rifle. This appears to be what the alleged shooter in Boulder's mass shooting used, making his gun more accurate while being concealable. And because cities across the country are experiencing a historic spike in homicides, the administration, through the American Jobs Plan, hopes to invest $5 billion in evidence-based community violence interventions like job trainings. Now, the administration noted the lasting trauma of gun violence, especially in communities of color saying, in fact, cities across the country are in the midst of a historic spike in homicides, violence that disproportionately impacts black and brown Americans. And while this announcement marks the president's first major action on gun control in office, he signaled the urgency for change after the mass shootings in Atlanta and Boulder. I don't need to wait another minute, let alone an hour, to take common sense steps that will save the lives in the future. The president will also nominate David Chipman to serve as director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms. Chipman previously worked at the agency for more than two decades. Sharon. Um, both to Capitol Hill, uh, the, the House has passed that background check bill. Um, we do know it faces an uphill battle. How is President Biden pushing lawmakers to take things further across the goal line? Mm -hmm. Well, Sharon, the president wants to close boyfriend stalking loopholes that allow people who have been identified by the courts as abusers to have firearms. Plus, he's pushing Congress to pass a national red flag law. And like it says, red flag legislation encouraging states to adopt their own versions. These laws would allow family members or police to petition the courts temporarily barring people in crisis from, as, from accessing, excuse me, firearms, he has tasked the Justice Department to create a model so states can look to that. So that red flag law, we know, Sharon, so many family members have said, you know, I thought something was off yeah. with that person. What could I do? So hopefully this would be something, an effort at least, to help combat that. When somebody sees something, that red flag to say, okay, I'm going to go to the courts. I'm going to petition the courts because I see my cousin. I see my friend going through that. Mm -hmm. And the issues surrounding abusers, that, that also would be huge. Both to Yimon, thank you. We'll check in with Absolutely. you again in our next uh, hour. Thanks.